live now <laughs> on Facebook. Isn't that funny? I know. Good evening, everybody on Facebook world. Hi, my name is Nino Miani. I'm the founder of MAP Training. I'm a depth psychologist and mythologist here in uh, Santa Barbara, California. And I'm going to be doing a uh, workshop in Boulder coming up in March. And so every week on Tuesday nights, we're going to be uh, looking at a different topic each week on what enhances our life and what gets in our way of our personal dreams. Tonight, we're looking at the uh, collective and personal shadow and the challenges that it offers, offers or actually uh, threatens us with on a daily basis in our living. So I'm thrilled that uh, many of you are on here tonight. And thank you for joining. If you just joined in, please say your name. If you're on, I got a conference call going on. At the same time, we're doing the call here uh, on Facebook. So if you just joined, please say your name. Who just, somebody just joined? Jan Lyon from Ashland, Oregon. All right, Jan, thanks for calling back. Great. Well, we're going to get started here in just a moment. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the collective shadow and our personal shadow tonight and how it either destroys our life or it can be able to carry you where you need to go. Most importantly, we want to have an opportunity to create what we desire in our life. But as you most of you all have heard about the shooting in Florida recently, it's an absolute tragic event. We also remember the shooting that was in Vegas, Sandy Hook, the Texas church shooting a few months ago, and the list goes on and on. Uh, we have uh, the political left blaming the conservative right for not passing gun laws that uh, would eliminate more senseless killing. I recently had a man in my neighborhood who had brutalized his girlfriend, who has a brand new little girl, not more than three weeks old and came home after a night of drinking and doing drugs uh, with his friends. Caused a lot of problems. Today I was, want, I was downtown and I saw numerous homeless going through the trash looking for something to eat. Many still are being inebriated from their last short dog, which is a very inexpensive wine drink you can buy for just a, a buck or two. And uh, the other day I was, uh, I heard a bunch of yelling and um, there's a woman down the street who was throwing some man's stuff out the front door and soon for herself, found herself attacking the guy and I'm witnessing all of this and he was later, the police showed up and they arrested him for domestic violence. And as you know, there's also numerous accounts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the list goes on, who bully individuals for their posts, criticize them for their political beliefs with many people who, most of them young teens, that have committed suicide from this psychological abuse, as you all have read about many, many times. Schools are constantly reeling from the tax at, at school from uh, students bullying a student that might be troubled or special needs because they're different. They aren't even doing anything wrong except for just coming to school and minding their own business, but because they're different, they're harassed. We see our peers harassed at work, the workplace because their pants might, are not tight enough or their hair is not coiffed just right. The boss is sexually harassing their female and or male employees. There are countless incidents of our vets who suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Many, uh, and the worst in my opinion, are our Vietnam vets. It would just bring tears to my eyes because I'm a, uh, I grew up in the Vietnam era and I had many, many friends who went to the Vietnam War, and, they, and none, many of them did not come back. And the ones who did come back were severely wounded mentally and in their own soul. Makes me sad just thinking about it. I think of a couple of friends of mine here locally in Santa Barbara. Uh, many are wandering around in a numb stupor, and they're not just limited. And it's just not limited to the homeless. I personally know many vets that are working a job and are silently suffering. We have world leaders around. The world that look at common folks as vassals. That's the term used by the European Union to describe the countries participating in the UN, European Union. They refer to as vassal states, which means states are subordinate to the king. In this case, is president of the EU and the ruler is Donald Tusk. 
England chose to leave this. I wonder why, huh? The list is huge, and I could go on easy for hours of all the examples and representations of the collective shadow that hovers over the world. It's an enormous energy that suppresses our ability to create sovereignty and attacks our personal freedoms. It wants to hold you in captivity. And our educational systems, our parents and friends and co-workers have all been given the blue pill of enchantment. So there's very, very few people who really have the knowledge to be able to combat this huge pressure that's put upon us as a, as our, in our society. And as long as you stay asleep, you're not a threat. Some say it's even better just to stay asleep and just go along and be a sheeple. But I, I don't really believe that to be true. I believe that we can achieve our sovereignty. We can change our lives if we understand how certain things are working. And there's a lot of things that are going on that I'm, I'm really disappointed in. And so what I'm doing right now is, is educating as many people as I can to help you become sovereign so you can learn the skills and knowledge to help your dreams come true as mine have. Um, I wrote 68 goals out when I graduated from college back in 1977 when I did my undergraduate work. I've re I have accomplished all of them except one. I believe in the next 18 months or less that will be accomplished as well. And when I do, I'll, I'll announce it here on Facebook so everybody can know that uh, what it was. So but be sure and come to this uh, talk every Tuesday night, 6.30 Pacific time, and I'll be doing a short half hour, 45 minute presentation, and also be able to, for you to ask questions and uh, um, and have me um, walk you along the, the process. Now we've all heard the story of uh, Briar Rose. You remember Sleeping Beauty? We've seen the Disney's whitewash versions and have enjoyed them from an entertainment value. Um, However, most do not know the do not know that the stories like Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, and Rumpelstiltskin, The Emperor's New Clothes, and many many stories that gave us enjoyment as a child, really were revealing the secrets to breaking out of the enchantment, and and not just defeating the collective shadow, but learning to create a relationship with it so it doesn't kill you. So I say this, it doesn't kill you. The truth of the matter is, it's killing us. It's killing people because this gentleman who shot up all these people, you heard a voice in his head that said, go shoot up the people. Well, this little voice in the head is called the personal shadow. And the collective shadow puts pressure on that, and we all are stressed out because of it. Interesting, uh, every one of these shootings in the past that you've heard about that I mentioned earlier in the talk, the perpetrator all heard a voice that will kill the people. Many of these people that did the shooting end up getting killed themselves. It kills a lot of subtle ways too, through depression, kills uh, through um, um, suicide, and there's tons of other ways that it continues to to erode our personal well-being. It it uh, gets us to take some antidepressant drugs because it makes us depressed. Uh, by the way, antidepressant drugs have gone up over 500% uh, in the last decade. It's, it's shocking. So you can see the collective shadow connected to your personal shadow, and it's basically hell-bent on destroying your life any way that it can. Now, the collective shadow is so huge that without knowledge to given, given to individuals that were traditionally initiated many, many years ago, in tribal, tribal uh, societies, they taught knowledge, sacred knowledge, on how to, how to uh, confront this stuff. It's almost impossible for the masses now to break the spell because they don't have the skills or knowledge to be able to deal with it. I offer a solution to looking at this through what we call math training. Math training was, was founded through my 40-some-odd years of in-depth work working with shamans and medicine men, doing my uh, graduate work in mythology and depth psychology, and bringing this whole thing together into one house to help individuals. Because I saw so many people that were struggling, and I uh, had a way. And as a result of that, I have so many people now across the country that have been doing this training have literally broken and pulled the noose off their neck and are free of that shadow. 
So I have the ability now to confront it and get it to carry it where it needs to go. Now, MAP training stands for mobilizing archetypal powers. In other words, what we're going to do, we have the ability to act something more powerful than the collective shadow or the personal shadow even combined. But most people don't know these secrets, and the secrets have been hidden from the masses for decades and is not taught in any school anywhere in the world except mine and a few awakened schools of thought worldwide, and they're just a handful. However, none of them have created the map, and the map is actually a map you traverse and explains each one of the areas of development in our being that we need to learn about so that we can be able to articulate clearly how this energy infects us and also to clearly identify and speak clearly to it to get it to acquiesce to our desires. <clears throat> Uh, these are these secrets have been hidden, as I mentioned, for four decades, and it's not taught anywhere else. <clears throat> uh, none of, um, however, none of them have created a the map, which will help you. As I mentioned, will help you conquer your most fiercest enemy. Now, is it the is it the government? Is it your boss? The bullies you encounter? No, this enemy lives in you. It gets to you to be, it gets you to be nice instead of authentic. Now it's interesting, the word nice, I don't know if you know, most of you know, it's a polysemous word. It means idiot or fool in old English. And it also means congenial and supportive. So it, it has these two meanings, but the, its oldest meaning means idiot or fool. So when we're, when we're being nice, we're not being authentic, we're we're doing behavior just to get by. And but I think I think when we if we can learn to live more authentic lives, we'll be free of being nice, and we won't be duped as many times because a lot of people when we're nice too they come back and bite us. And so this is an opportunity for you to change all of that. So this coming March 15th through the 18th in Boulder, Colorado, I'll be coming there to teach an introductory course on map training. Uh, you'll learn how to confront this power collective shadow and the personal shadow and carry it to where you need to go. There will be tools that you will be given that helps you to grow your dreams into their physical reality. You will learn secrets that only a handful of people in the world knows that will unlock the doors and free one from the prison of financial poverty, attracting dysfunctional relationships, heal personal wounds, and most important, unite you with your soul's calling and the truth of your own soul's voice. The collective shadow is everywhere. It's even in a set of playing cards right there. The two black queens. There, it, when you have the mythic eye to see how it shows up, and you can identify situations before they manifest, you avoid what's called falling into the deadfalls. A deadfall is a, is a big hole in the ground that's dug, and spikes are putting down on the bottom, and they cover it up with twigs and, and dirt and stuff. And it prevent, and then what you do is you, you trap the bear, and the bear chases you, and it falls in the deadfall and kills itself. Well, we have what we call our personal deadfalls that we call in, fall in all the time, because we're unconscious of this of this massive energy that uh, um, always is trying to take us down. So through the map training, which is different than psychotherapy, as a matter of fact, I have a number of psychotherapists, marriage and family counselors that are doing this work as they want another tool to be able to use for the psychotherapy. And many of them are finding this to be actually be more effective in the psychotherapy um, arena than the traditional methodologies. Uh, I have students that have now started from absolutely nothing, uh, literally living in a tent, um, that are now getting their master's degree, becoming financially independent, creating successes uh, more uh, at, at levels that are absolutely astounding. It's just amazing what's happening. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have, uh, let's see, is, I think I might have a couple people on here that, uh, well, by the way, uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, now's a good time to maybe ask a few, and I can give some feedback to you if you like. Uh, so go ahead and take a moment and throw me a question or some information that you would like to know about, and I'd be more than happy to pass that on to you. While I'm waiting, uh, let's see, do we have uh, Aaron, are you around? Aaron? 
Uh, okay, how about uh, Rhonda? Are you there? Yeah. Okay, Rhonda, uh, could you uh, give us a little feedback about your experience as doing map training over the few years? I don't know if everybody can hear this, but I'm going to hold my phone up to the computer, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Go ahead. Well, I've been working with Nino for 11 years now, and when I started, I was in progressively one abusive relationship after another that was worse and worse, until ultimately it was like threatening, and I had basically nothing at one point in life, not even a place to live. Um, I now have my own home and working on my bachelor's degree and then my master's degree after that for psychology. Um, I finally have my full autonomy and understand how many horses I work. I don't know if you guys got that, but uh, Rhonda, when she first came to me, she was in an abusive relationship. Things were uh, not going very, very well for her. She has grown in a phenomenal way. Now she's on her own home. She's just short now of graduating from getting her bachelor's degree in psychology and moving on to become a psychotherapist and working with uh, uh, women's trauma issues. So it's really exciting. That's just one example. I had a couple of the people for some reason that they weren't able to get on tonight. Um, so the workshop that's coming up is going to be uh, held here in Boulder. Uh, you can enroll in it through either Facebook link or go to my website at ninomiani.com. Uh, it's limited to 30 people, and I believe there's nine since I just announced this the other day that have enrolled. So it's filling up pretty quickly. So if you'd like to, to attend, I would encourage you to go to the website. You can enroll. It's uh, 295 for the weekend. Everybody who enrolls, pre-enrolls, uh, pre will receive a copy of my book, which is being printed right now, so I don't have a copy of it with me. But it's called The Seven Secrets of Turning Your Dreams into Treasure. And everybody will get a free copy of it who enrolls uh, in the workshop. Uh, let's see. Uh, covered everything here. I think I pretty much got it. So I hope uh, I, had, I shed some light on a very serious subject here that has gone on around the world. And the shadow does show up, and, and it has its, its uh, it changes its shape. It's like smoke that changes into a shape of a man, changes the shape of a, of a woman. It can change in the shape. It's just this thing that keeps shape shifting all the time. So if you don't have the eyes to see it and recognize it and how it shows up in its subtle ways, then it comes back and causes grief in, in our lives. I, I recently have a, I have a client that's working with me right now, and they uh, uh, he owns a restaurant here locally in the area up in uh, Buellton. And he was sharing with me some of the challenges that he's recently been having. As a matter of fact, I was I warned him about some of the things that could occur if he didn't nip these in the bud. Well, he didn't pay attention to me, and, his, and it cost him $25,000 that he had to pay in legal fees and to just get out of the mess. But if he would have listened and have taken advantage of some of the things I shared about that he's learning here in the MAP Training Consciousness and leveraged them there, uh, it problems wouldn't have happened. So um, I hope everybody can attend. And if you can't, uh, uh, please come on to the call next Tuesday night, 630. We'll have another different topic. It'll be announced this week. So bring your friends on so they can hear. Uh, about uh, next week, we'll be talking about the psychology of abundance in the, in the world of the ethereal. How does the ethereal effect, the invisible world effect, our abundant world? How can we be able to attain that? Also, in, the, in all areas of our life, not just financial abundance, but health and fitness and things of that nature, and personal abundance uh, with relationships. So we'll look at all of those things a little bit next week. So uh, I, if no one had any questions, then I, it's been just wonderful sharing with everybody. I noticed there's quite a few people on tonight, and I really am thrilled that um, a lot of people did come on and hear the message this evening. So thank you very much for coming, and please come next week, Tuesday night, 6.30. Uh, look for the uh, information on Facebook. If you have some questions and then you didn't want to 
ask them tonight, you can go on my website. Uh, there's a place where you can type in questions or send me a, uh, a comment. If you like this tonight, be sure and, and uh, tell me, let me know you liked it. And also uh, write in your questions or anything that you would like to have a response to. I'd be more than happy to respond back to you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I look forward to talking to everybody next week.